Hey YouTube, it's your boy Rickett Ross. Uh, today I'm just making a, a quick video. Um, if you've been asking me about you know the computer parts that I use, um, you know like what processor, what RAM, and stuff like that, so I'm just gonna make a an update um, on what RAM I'm using and you know what kind of speeds and stuff like that. So here I'm just gonna show some footage of the RAM that I've got. Um, this is the Patriot Extreme Gaming series, um, and it comes two times two gigabytes of RAM. Um, it's DDR3 and the set speed is 1600 megahertz which is a fast speed to start with so you get two of these in each pack um, I've got eight gigs of these these ones are specifically made for people that have got an AMD uh, processor probably the X2, X4, the AF1 uh, black edition uh, with it being black edition uh, it's got like a little logo on the side here that you can see um, basically means that you can overclock them really easy in AMD or your overdrive facility um, you know, like I said, they come standard at 1600, but these can be easy go up to 1800, which in regards to RAM for this price, you know, is really good. Uh, and just showing you some of the RAM there, uh, you know, they've got these really nice heat sinks on top. Uh, I think this standard voltage is like 1.5, but you can put 1.8 volts in these, you know, no problem, and they're going to perform really well. So anyone that's got an AMD um, processor, Black Edition, I would really recommend these. You can see here in my case now. Um, that you know I've got four sticks of the two gig RAM there um, so fully fitted out um, I've got a fan above it there cooling it because um, I do have them pretty much maxed out um, and they sit really nice in the case they do, the heat sinks are quite large which is a good thing but if you've got a really large CPU cooler cool, you can see the one on the left there is slightly close but there is a couple of mil gap here I just show going into the BIOS how easy it is to overclock these just in the BIOS I mean it's even easier in overdrive but if you kinda know what you're doing you can see here uh, straight in my BIOS at the top there, the target DRAM frequency. I've got these overclocked at 1760, which you know is pretty rapid for this kind of uh, RAM price-wise. Um, so I mean, on here, the simple way to overclock it is just by increasing your bus frequency. It'd usually be at 200. Um, I just increase that to 220, and if you want to go up to 1800 megahertz, um, you just increase that to 225. So for anybody that's got this and is looking for the best performance, I would say the 1760 probably gives you the all-round best results for like voltage and benchmarking. Um, like I said, you can put in up to 1.8 volts into these. I think I've got mine set at there 1.725 uh, at target speed of 1760. So <laughs> for any of you guys that are like, you know, getting confused by these numbers, it's basically just increasing the speed of your RAM. Obviously, it comes a good speed but they can be pumped up a lot higher this bit here is just showing the it's called the latency the speed timing is 9924 which it comes set at which is pretty decent but if you really want to get 1800 megahertz out of it I'd suggest going to 11 11 30 that would give you probably the maximum out of this uh, RAM but do, do check on your system you know whether it's stable by running something like Prime 95 or you know an AMD um, test on it so just in review of this RAM, you know, it's really good RAM. If you're looking to upgrade or just buy some new RAM for a new build, I would really recommend this Patriot um, Extreme Gamer Series RAM. Um, it's pretty awesome. Um, and I'm sure you'll get a lot of good results. I've had for editing, uh, you know, it's super fast compared to my old RAM. So, yeah, uh, if any of you guys have got any questions or anything, um, just send me a message or leave a comment. That's it for today, guys. Cheers.